myself dead. I'm pretty sure you don't know what kind of stamina I have. No, I'm pretty sure I do, seeing as how I've been playing this game for how many years now? And that doesn't um, tell you anything five. about what levels no, I've taken. No, it does. It does. It does tell me. How? I know about how long a Argentavis can stay in the air. Alright. It, it isn't a useless piece of shit. That still <laughs> doesn't say anything. No, that says quite a lot right there. No, because I've put a handful of points in stamina. But, at the same time, I... You do I'll... realize the stamina scaling on this server is very low, right? It, it's not it's... crazy boosted. Yeah, it's I was about not... to say, it's not boosted at all is all it is. No, well, no, it has to be somewhat boosted, because this is definitely more than your stock stamina scaling. But it's not boosted to the point where you could stay in the air much longer than me. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Okay, here's the cave. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, look, I'm watching a griffin and an Argentavis chase after a poor, unsuspecting Tapajara. Oh, that poor, poor Tapajara. Yeah, to be honest, he's mostly scared for nothing. He lost them after the first three seconds. Hey, I'm right around the corner from us. There's a little structure, a man-made structure. Right around the corner? Let me guess. It's Looks like maybe a arch, taming pin. Archway-like, right? Um, I wouldn't call it archway. Hold on, let me get a closer look with my spyglass. Uh, uh, yeah, it is. There's Charlie, a bunch of doors. People... Yeah, it's basically a... Yeah, it's a pen. Yeah. It's a pen for taming a griffin. Yeah, there's also a saber tooth down there. What? And what is this that I have found? Why, it's a wonderful little friend. Let me just carry you over here to the cave, little buddy. I'm seeing a lot of griffins uh, not far from the base currently. And again, this is nothing for us to be concerned about because griffins suck at targeting. I will and agree. Also it tend also to move in circles. It it is literally just doing that. There's a wild Arventageous. A, a thorny dragon. Yeah, a thorny dragon. A rock elemental. Who are you? You're just another thorny dragon. A lot of thorny dragons over there. Are they hostile necessarily? Or yes, are they, they are. When you get close enough to them, they'll start viciously murdering you. Right, well, I mean, that's how I learn not to get near them. I mean, I'm not near them, though. I'm looking at them with my spyglass. The but... rock golem's even more, um, even more territorial. Yeah. Ooh. That one's suffering. That griffin's suffering bleeding. What's it fighting? Uh, those land things that ran up and attacked you. Whatever it was, the one that physically ran inside the base. Uh, so either wolves or terror birds. Uh, terror bird, I guess. It wasn't. It's not a wolf. Oh, it's on two legs, right? Well, terror birds don't actually make uh, their target bleed. Oh, something it, made it bleed. It, it had the red gushing effect, almost like it was bleeding. Oh, uh, well then, maybe in that case, it was a wolf bite. There may have been a wolf down there, and I just couldn't see it. Random stone foundation out here in the desert. Nothing else yeah, to it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty normal. I'm just kind of saying what I'm seeing. I'm really hoping to get some drops, like a... Loot drops. You're not going to find loot drops very easy. 
Yeah, I know. Or find something I can murder. Easily, without really any resistance at all. Like, nothing fighting back. There are animals for that, but there's no real reason to do it, is the thing. I give I mean, a lot of XP the, for my character. Uh, okay, there's nothing that gives a fuck ton of XP just for randomly killing it if it doesn't fight back. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but they don't give out free lunch. It's enough XP for me to level up. Oh, you could do that just by standing around. I really can, but it's a lot quicker. Well, look, we got... You're not, you're not thinking about this right now. You see, if you want to be able to just go around and whole ham-ass kill shit, your best option, in all truth, is is probably to try and help get the um, base in working order. Because when the base is in working order, and we have electricity and walls and everything, we can go start getting things like Rexes and shit. Things where you can go around. Or e even better, Wyverns. Yeah. Yeah. I currently found an island of really weak dinosaurs. Nothing hostile on it that I could see so far. It's a big open area, so I could see anything coming. And it seems to be uh, doing pretty good. Lots of XP coming in from it. There we go. I got you a present. Oh, I like presents. What is it? Oh, I'm not telling you. Okay. Until you get your dumb ass back here. I'll do that in a minute. Maybe I'll just kill it with a hatchet. Okay. Probably not a dodo anyway. No, it's far better than a dodo. Oh, then how do I? How do you know I'm gonna like it? Because if you don't like it, I will blast you with laser beams. And that is a saber tooth. So I'm going up. There ain't nothing else here to kill it either. However, he's occupied chasing that one thing, but I don't want to be down there. I found a sheep. Yeah, you Do found I... a sheep. Yeah. Well, want me to bring that back? Is that worth bringing back? Well, to be honest, Charlie. Actually, yeah, yeah. Oh, bring it shit. back. No, bring no, it no. back and come ah. drop it in. Uh, well, you, you better. Uh, did I get it? Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. And I'm too late. Sabertooth got him. Damn it. I tried to grab him. Well, don't worry. It wasn't really important. I know. At least not for the moment. I mean, really, we'd need the sheep later. Uh, you, especially for what I had planned. I know. You, you literally said, yeah, go get it, as the Sabertooth decided to go for it. Well, you see, here's the problem, Charlie. You don't have the same arc instincts that I do. My instincts would tell me, as soon as I'm looking at it, is now a good time to pick up that sheep? And if it was, I'd already have it in the claws. Even if I wasn't explicitly looking for a sheep. Y you gotta develop instincts like that. And I, I know that does sound somewhat pretentious for me to say out loud, but it is the truth. It's kind of like how I know what corners to throw a grenade around in Halo. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's an instinct that takes time to develop, and, you know, you're not just going to get it overnight. It, it, it's like... Yeah, I know. Does the kangaroo things fight back? Their behavior did change during the last TLC update, so I'm not exactly sure. I think their first instinct is to run, but I think worst case scenario, you'll just be kicked back. Arthur, 
Arthropology. Do not mess. Do, no. Do not. I was just seeing what it was. No, do, I'm not. I'm not nowhere near it. But I was seeing what it was. Do not mess with that. And the reason I say that, and this is important that you learn it, the thing spits acid that will melt your damn arm. Okay. Yeah. So do not. I mean, I'm way up in the air. I don't want to make you. I'm not going down there. Yeah, me neither. But I ain't going down there anyway. Five seconds later, Charlie was killed by an arthropleura. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I had to learn how to fly. There's a lot of arches over here in the sand. And you know, I... Charlie, yep. you, you, you remind me of that very important scene from Rick and Morty. The one where Mor Rick tells Morty to stick it way up there. No. Oh, okay. No. This particular scene is the one uh, from Morty's Mind Blowers. Mm. Where Rick says, Morty, I need you to go over that wall and turn off the lights. So oh, yeah. Find these. Yeah. Uh -huh, here are two, three clicks instead of one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, all right, yeah. Morty, go get the shovel. I just watched uh, season four recently. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, I've watched the whole thing so far, anyway. And I also watched their other series they were doing called Solar Opposites. Yeah, I wanted to, but it's not on anything I can get right now. I got it on Hulu. Is it on Hulu? Yeah, it's oh, a Hulu shit. original. Oh, Didn't I thought it was know? HBO. No. Oh, HBO okay. couldn't produce something that good. Are good. these dead fish? Uh, no, they're not. Uh, nope. I'm over by the ocean. Or why yeah, are you saying? You know, uh, you're, you're wanton exploring can get you killed. Be careful. I'm aware. Apparently you're not, or else you wouldn't be fucking doing it. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I know it'll get me killed. I'll tell you what'll get you killed, not listening to Alex. Uh, when do I ever do that, though? You're proving my point for me. That's the point. Ooh. You regularly don't listen to me, and therefore you are in danger of death. Mm, this looks familiar. What is this? Um, so it looks so it's got like a metal platform, and it's got... Uh, a spike coming out with the green thing on top that kind of spins back and forth. It's what from Aberration. That? Yeah. It's a charge light to battery thing. It can be used to make element. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask if that's what that was. If it was the charge light thing. It's over here by the ocean. Well, yeah, there's only like a handful of them on uh, the whole map. There's not a radioactive zone in this one. Is that correct? I, I don't remember ever finding a radioactive zone on this, but I think there may be. So... It might be underground, if, though. Yeah, but, well, yeah, obviously it's going to be underground. Radioactivity doesn't work so well when it's exposed to broad daylight. Never thought of it that way. Yeah, apparent. I think it's something to do with nuclear decay probably being more um, able to spread out in the light. Uh, that probably that... because the photons of the light directly hit the um, decaying nucleus of the. Uh, I could believe that. Um, could yeah. also have something to do with it's got more room to spread out for the particles to shoot off and not bounce around. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say that is truly scientific. Um, I know beta particles, specifically beta particles, if yeah, but they can't penetrate your... Really, like they that's can't not really radiation, yeah. though. That's not really radiation. That's more... Um, that would be more in the microwave frequency. No, because beta particles well, is, again, is a... Well, microwave is also a type of radiation. Yes. Um, beta particles, be beta radiation, 
can cannot penetrate your skin, but it can soft tissues. So you don't want to swallow something radioactive that gives off beta particles, because um, it can penetrate there. And then because it can't penetrate your outer skin, it just bounces around in your body, constantly causing uh, rapid, and I mean rapid, radioactive sickness. It's uh, I learned that earlier this week. Um, oh. from a scientist. Who was, was the scientist? I honestly don't remember, but they were it, it, it they were uh talking was it on TV. No, it it was it's a YouTube channel I follow. It was one of the like five or six that are they're just scientists, kind of like not necessarily the king of random. Like Vsauce. No. I don't. Tested. No, definitely ain't tested. Adam Savage's uh, workshop. No, I'm not. I don't follow his workshop. If he has another channel after tested. Uh, the only channels of his Tested I know of is... isn't even Adam Savage's channel. Is it not? No, no. Adam oh. likes to make cameos, but it's not his. I thought he... I thought it was his. Um, no, uh, it's, uh, I follow... I do follow Tess and As Seen on TV, but it's not those. It's, um... He's an actual scientist. He's a physicist. So, are you ever gonna fucking get back here? Am I gonna have to hunt you down across the map, spear you to death, and then fly back? It'd probably be easier to just no-kill it. And I found... Oh, God. Okay, so I found a well and two Krakens. Uh, a lead sickness, you mean, and two squid. You are to leave them alone. Yeah, lead sickness and... Are they squids? It's a, uh... Two set... With this. Both of them are. Okay, it's called the Tuso Toothus, and yeah. yes, they are squid. Yeah, so I guess I'm not going to explore where I was going, and I guess I'll head on back. Yeah, yeah. See, Damn the it. thing about it is, Valgaro's... Yep. Oh, oops, sorry, not Valgaro. Um, Crystal Isles' oceans are very yeah. weird. Um, yeah, I've realized that, because there are a shit ton of creatures in, like, just groups. No. No, that's that's not why they're weird. Okay. The spawn regions for squid are actually purposefully set very close to the shore. Normally, squid only spawn near the distant um, edges of the map's oceans. They do this to have the sort of thing like every now and again you'll see a giant squid washed up on the beach. The thing is, squid can't actually attack you when you're above a certain uh, ocean depth. Really? Yeah, it's part of their AI thing. They're not supposed to be able to attack. Deep water creatures aren't supposed to be able to functionally come up to the shallower waters and attack you while they're wild. Huh. Yeah, that's why you don't see Dunkleostis coming up to the shoreline and trying to rip your spleen out. I do like the fact that it kept all of my uh, map stuff from um, whenever me and you was playing. It's probably because you were in single player, too. No, 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 no. I never explored Crystal Isles without you. It's not that at all. It's literally, I can see where we went up north to the snowy area and then where I've been here, and that's it. Oh, right. Oh. So I found an area where I thought I would find a base or something. And, and I have not, but this would have been a great place to have a base. That's uh, probably not the truth. Yeah, if it's I'm an area, leaving. If it's an area that you could easily find, it's not. A no, no, it's not easily found. It's just under a giant-ass rock, and I am leaving immediately. Why is that? There's some kind of wyvern in there. Uh, it may be a wyvern's nest is why I left. Oh, you mean a really big ass rock that's all yellow and just orangey? Kind and of. And there's a whole bunch of caves underneath it? Uh-huh, and it's not far from the ocean, and it's next to the sand area. Oh my, well, Charlie, you're already a dead man if they haven't, if they've spotted you. They have not. In okay, fact, I, I'm never, leaving. Never fucking go back there again, because you went into the wyvern nest after I specifically told you that's where the aggressive, angry wyverns are. 
Oh, Yo, you didn't tell me that's where the nest was. I didn't know no, what the nest I was. No, I did tell you that's where the nest was. That big damn pile of rocks is where the nest was. I have There's never been over here. here. I've never been yesterday. to this. Yeah, but I've never been to this area. How could I have ever You've seen it? You've never been to it, but I pointed at it and said, hey, that's where the dangerous big wyverns are. Yeah, don't go there. Well, that doesn't mean I know where it was still. Well, that's because you're an idiot who doesn't remember things. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> this is how we solve our problems. We say meh. 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 We are the knights who say me. You have no idea what reference I'm making. I can't say I do, in all honesty. I should probably actually head in the right Python direction. And the Holy Grail. Is it? Okay. Yeah, there was this whole bit where this really weird guy up on stilts is just standing there, and King Arthur's, like, scared shitless of him because he keeps saying that neat really loud. Uh -huh. And the so, next thing you know, uh, he demands a shrubbery. I found one of those flying sky base birds. You found a Quetzal. Congratulations. They're useless to us at this point. Uh, kind of figure they were, but I didn't know if you wanted one also, or not. Also, they're pretty much useless, period, at this point. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Uh, Quetzal on PvP? Yeah. I mean, unless you're making something that like a, a, could be used to soak turrets from above. Yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. Unless you're making, like, a attack battleship, like an airship, it's useless. Yeah, because it'll eventually have to land, and when it lands, you'll be screwed. However, uh, it could be used for picking stuff up, but it can only carry a couple things that wyverns can't, so... Yeah, at least now, now I have an idea of where the wyvern's nest is. Or whenever we yeah. go and steal some eggs. Actually, you don't even have to steal the eggs on this map. Really? Okay. Yeah, no, you just knock out one of the wy uh, wyverns, and you can yank the crystals out of their back, and then you can passive tame them with those crystals. Oh. Yeah. Just by having them or feeding them? Uh, like you did with the Lystrosaur. Okay, so feeding them. Yeah. You, and the thing is, you just gotta find a good position on their back, usually on the back of their neck or something, and just let them fly around and hope you don't get knocked off. Oh, so you have to physically be on their back while doing it, shit. Well, y you don't have to, but that's the easiest method of doing it. Is by sitting on their back? Yeah, that way you don't have to be running around trying to keep pace with it constantly. Yeah, because that would be hard without something fast. Yeah, and there's really no other flyers as fast as the... Um, Wyvern. Wyvern, except maybe one. Which would be... Uh, the Tropi Ignatius. I am making my way back to you, by the way. Yeah, but we can't tame a Tropi Ignatius for quite some time. Mainly because it requires the use of a ballista to do so, and we don't have a ballista. And we also can't make it saddle. I found another charge pedestal. Charlie, this isn't Thomcraft. Stop calling it a charge pedestal. Sorry, charging station. Charge light station. Okay. I took the castoroids out and got plenty of wood with it. Okay. And I took the Doodicarus out and got plenty of stone with it, which means the only thing we're going to need now is a buttload of thatch, and we can start our construction project, make ourselves a taming pen, and I can go collect us a more powerful uh, carnivore. Okay, well, I believe I'm here. The wolves piss their panties. 
I believe I'm here. I'm guessing that's you flying off. Yes, that's me flying off to cut down some trees right over here. Okay. You said you had me a present? Yeah, go in the house. Please be a dodo. Oh! It's so cute! Yeah, it's a little jerboa. I got here and it took a shit immediately. It said, oh shit, what is that ugly thing? Anvil's part of the um, smithy, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Should I be making more containers or are we fine on storage? We're fine. Okay. Most of our storage will probably go into the smithy anyway. Mainly because everything we would usually store would be used as an ingredient in making something in the smithy. Um, so I forget how to throw this guy. Double tap F. Okay. Nope, not where I want to go. Um, that's better. Perfect. He's so cute. Yeah, if we were on a uh, Genesis, he's got a cousin. We like cousins. Yeah, this cousin has a tendency to hulk out and murder everything in its path, though. Hmm. We yeah, do not. We, a, may, we may not like cousins. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, he's a drug addict. A six-limbed drug addict. Okay. Yeah, it's called a ferox. And in order to breed them, you have to get them heavily addicted on element. So the only things we can't actually learn in the Ingrams is Tech, Genesis, and Extinction. Ingrams, from what I can see. Yep, pretty much. Hmm. Weren't they working on like a super map or something that was going to have kind of all of them other than this? Uh, the super map is Genesis Part 2. Technically speaking, Genesis has everything from all of the games up, uh, all of the maps up till now. That's right, because Genesis is is the minus, one where you teleport um, around. Minus Dynanicus and um, minus Dynanicus, Crystal Wyverns, and Tropi Ignathus. Every map has its own um, special signature dinosaur, basically. Yeah, uh, with the exception of the island, of course. The island had like yeah. the titan or something nope nope the big one that could only be tamed for like 24 hours is that that is the titan right no that uh, no That's that not... is the titan but it's this... not its signature dino uh, okay yeah no the titan can spawn on all the maps oh, except okay. for extinction of course okay so i wonder how hectic genesis is in this server. oh it's very hectic in this server Oh, uh, this server, no doubt. I mean, technically speaking, uh, element flows like uh, water through the rivers in Genesis. No, we would be wiped clean from the map just as soon as we stepped onto it, uh, no doubt. <laughs> no, we'd be fucked. I kind of want to just load into it as an empty character with nothing on it, just, just to even look. That's... That's a terrible no, idea, I know. It, yeah, it's a terrible idea because you it would don't be interesting. really know the basics of art. Genesis is like, well, more hard or more difficult than anything. I know. I, was supposed to, I know how to survive, but I don't know how to progress. No, oh, you don't really know how to survive in the first place. I can find the hidey hole and hide. It's survival. There are no hidey holes. I remember what I was doing now. Where's Birdie? Come here, Birdie. There are no hidey holes in Genesis. That's the thing. Birdie brought you some rotten flesh. Then put it in the damn I am. mortar and pestle. I am. Uh, despite the fact you actually got a ton of that, you don't got enough narc berries. 
Well, then take the parasaur. You know what? No, no, no. Take the castroids to the far end of the valley and harvest the bushes over there. Castroids. Uh, movement. I, I must be too fat. No, it's full. I guess you're taking out all that wood. Yeah. Take as much wood as you can, bring it into the smithy. Smithy, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's my weight. <laughs> I must be holding something heavy. Oh, I got a shit ton of fiber. Fiber's not that heavy. You're right, it's not. And I guess that wood's stupid heavy. No, it's not that wood's stupid heavy, it's just that he has a lot of it. I was talking about, like, I picked up one stack of wood and it was too much for me. Well, technically, the base stack size is 100, so they have it artificially increased. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I guess I'm in the way of the door, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the problem with having a small door. Could just put a second door on. No, that'll just mean more ways for someone to blast in. True. Ah! Door is we. Come on! I, I was waiting for you to come in! That's enough. Alright, I'll drop off this one last stack and go. So what you crafting there? A stabbing stick. Ooh, I like stabbing sticks. Yeah, come come back here. Let me show you. I'm good. Oh yeah, no. Come. Oh lag. Oh, the game stopped making noise. Come, come back here. Oh shit! Yeah. What the hell? Let me show you the stabbing stick. Uh, you have damaged my ghillie suit. Your ghillie suit is now missing. Uh, yes, I need organic polymer and fiber to repair it. Drop the chest plate, you idiot. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's taking a decent more amount of damage than I thought it would. I'll grab it on my way back. Because I'm only going over here anyway. I forgot these pink flowers brought food. Or berries. No, I didn't grab the organic poly out of the chest. Yeah, organic polymer lasts a while. Is the is the um, horse still trapped? Yep, it's still trapped, but we still do not have the carrots to tame it. The alternative, of course, being mayo berries, which will take literally over an hour. I mean, I got a ton of mayhem beer, so... Um, Again, it is it is not a question of how many mayhos you have. It's a question of how long it will fucking take. Yeah, I know. I mean, you, you don't want to spend that long. Because there is just no call for that. Also, it is not mayha, it is mayho. Sorry. Medjo, actually, but as most people call it. But I like to think there's a Spanish intention to it. <laughs> I mean, you know why I keep pronouncing it the way I am. I was talking about it earlier. 
Yes, because you desire to have your nuts removed. You know. In the words of Bobby Worst, keep that up and I'm hitching your sacks to my Prius. Gosh darn. Ah, oh, I haven't watched Puma forever. I hate everyone, and I hate children. Hi, I'm Bobby Worst, and I'm a naughty terrorist who likes to shoplift. Uh-oh. It's hot. Yes, it is. And it's you have my ghillie suit. Hot. Yes, yes it is. Perhaps you shouldn't have taken your sweet-ass time. I'm about to head back now, actually. Actually, about to head back now. You should have finished five minutes ago. Well, I keep having to dump ludicrous amounts of stuff ludicrous amounts of stuff charlie there aren't ludicrous amounts of stuff okay well whatever I, I literally can't move it's so full is why well then perhaps you should stop being a dipshit uh there's a bird here there's a terror bird here help Help! No, he he ran into me. Well, then bite him for fuck's sake. I was an oversized beaver. I was biting I mean, him. Uh, he left a pack of something. Don't worry about the damn pack. I'll handle the pack. Let's see what's in this thing. Gosh darn. Uh, luckily he did not hurt the beaver too much. The uh. Oh, he, he just destroyed. had some shit in there for a trophy. Hey, look, a wall. Yes, we're building a wall and we're making Charlie's pay for it. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay, uh, let me see. Narc berries, and I'll move the thatch over as well. The thatch in the smithy. And narc berries in the mortar and pestle. Should probably start making more narcotics with it before it all disappears, right? Yeah. There's only a couple things in the game that have an actual use for uh, spoiled meat, and we're not going after them. At least well, for now. we're going to have over 200 narcotics after this. Yeah. That's not much. I know it's not, it's just what we have. Not compared to what we need. I wonder if Cassie... If somebody, if somebody gave us 20,000 narcotics, they'd say, Hey, we could almost tame everything with that. <laughs> almost. Yeah, there are some things that would require more. And... That's only counting the things that have to be knocked out to be tamed. I mean, I, I I can't tell you how much a giga would probably take. Can I get back my my shirt, please? Yeah, just a moment. Okay. You gonna come get it? I it's am. on the floor. No, because we want you to run shirtless around here, because we're like weirdos. I'm sure. And I want to stab you. Sure. Stab you right in your disgusting little face. Gosh darn, what's that from? I'm just making up a random southerner voice. Mm, sounds so familiar. You know what else it sounds it's like? It's like a combination of Little Gideon 
from Gravity Falls. Gosh darn it. Some bitches from Hell of Hell of a Boss. Yeah. And maybe someone from SpongeBob. Mm. Who's, oh wait, no, no, it's it's King Jellybean from mm. uh, Rick and Morty. And now I'm I'm adding a sassy black woman voice Ow. to it here. It's really starting to come together real nice. <sighs> it's good and unsettling. It, it makes your balls retract, don't it, Charlie? Yeah. You know what else it sounds like? Don't you damn dare say what I think you're about to say. What? Say it and find out, fucker. The end of the episode. Hope you all have God enjoyed this. <laughs> God damn it, you're dead. Hold on. I hope, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Armor. And uh, we'll see you next time. Armor, Bye. Okay, you're cut.